got next presented by Xfinity, the one seed in the South, Duke squashing San Diego State to advance to the Sweet 16, where they will see five seed Utah after they knocked off Georgetown. Jordan Cornett, Bonnie Bernstein in our Campus Insider Studios, and Jalil Okafor just set a freshman Duke record for points scored in two NCAA tournament games. But now, Jordan, he's going to be coming up against some serious size in Utah. How could that impact him? It's going to impact him greatly. Jaleel Okafor is used to being the most dominant presence on the floor at 6'11". He's got that big body. He puts up big-time numbers. When he sees somebody who's a bigger inside presence than him, he struggles at times. Take a look at this full screen right here. At 6'11", he's okay playing against a 6'9", 6'10 defender. Seven-foot centers defending him, though, give him some problems. His stat's a little bit underwhelming there. How does that play a role in this one? Jakob Pertl, the big man for Utah, is a potential first-round draft pick. His length will disrupt what Jaleel Okafor is comfortable doing down low. He won't get clean looks at the rim. He'll be able to elevate with those arms and make it tough to get those clean looks Okafor is accustomed to getting. If Pirtle gets in foul trouble, they keep a seven-footer on deck in Dallin Bajinski. So throughout this entire game, he'll be seeing defense from a seven-footer. So you got a whole extra set of fouls there to work Absolutely. with, too, which is definitely an advantage for Utah. Offensively for the Utes, what do DeLon Wright and company need to do to pull the upset? They need to get to the rim. Get busy with the bounce. Get into the paint and try and disrupt this defense from Duke. A vulnerable defense. Take a look at the X1 Sports app. They have the guy to do it. DeLon Wright at 6'5 has the distinct size advantage on the perimeter. He should be able to get to the cup at will against this Duke defense. If he doesn't get all the way to the cup, drive and dish that thing to Brandon Taylor shooting 44% from the three-point line. Robert Morris, these guys combined for 45 points on that Duke defense at a 1 versus a 16 seed in the first matchup. So if you're going to win this game, Utah, get to the rim. Do they have a shot? Utah gets to the rim behind DeLon Wright. I think they get it done. Brandon Taylor finds that stroke. Utah knocks off the one seed in Duke. Sending another one seed home, so says Jordan Cornett. Well, Utah is seeing its first Sweet 16 in 10 years. Can the five knock off the one? Be sure to keep it right here on campus inside us throughout the week to see how the Elite Eight unfolds and our Who's Got Next segment. Who's Got Next is powered by Xfinity. Track multiple games all on one screen with the X1 Sports app right on your TV. Xfinity is perfect for people who love college basketball.